current world, I observe, is literally awash, saturated with pseudoscience, with bad science, with scientific misinformation and disinformation. Non-science business managers, politicians, politically appointed lab directors and the like, are very easily snowed by scientific disinformation. Sometimes they participate in its origination. Uh, the world is awash with someone else's perception of truth as an alternative to real truth. Perception of truth frequently differs significantly from real truth. Moreover, given sufficient promotion and advertising, perception of truth becomes truth. It's, pr it's promotion by commercial enterprise is called marketing, commonly used in the furtherance of, of political, commercial, or various opportunistic ends by us promoters. When the promotion is done by government or political groups, it's called spin or propaganda. You can change truth. You can claim false observations if necessary. My favorite in this act is ChatGPT. It's very good at doing exactly that. It has uh, lots of man-made pseudoscience that copy and manipulate and emulate. It can lie and cheat even better than its human mentors. Recently, the Nobel Foundation has formed a new panel to address the issue called the International Panel on Information Environment. They plan to model it after the UN's International Panel on Climate Change, the IPCC. I think personally that they are making a big mistake in that effort because, in my opinion, the IPCC is one of the worst sources of dangerous misinformation. I believe that the climate change is not a crisis. Real truth could be found if and only if you learn to recognize and use good science. It's especially true when real truth is politically incorrect and does not reflect the science, uh, uh, reflect political business aims or desires of leaders. If you're doing uh, good science, it may lead you into politically incorrect areas. Uh, if you're a good scientist, you will follow them. I have several I won't have time to discuss, but they are, I can confidently say, there is no real climate crisis and that uh, climate change uh, does not cause extreme weather events. Thank you.